Rock. KISW. Hey, Rockaholics, this is Hot Kyle here in Hot Kyle's Kitchen. With Super Bowl coming up, it might be a little difficult to decide on what hors d'oeuvres you should have for your Super Bowl party. You might want chicken wings, you might want little smoky cocktail sausages, you might want nachos, or maybe you should just take all of them, layer them up inside of a meat football, and make one epic snack that's so epic that you have an 84% chance of going into cardiac arrest just by looking at it. And we're going to show you how. We're starting off with cocktail weenie. And barbecue sauce with a little bit of Jack Daniels. Oh uh, yeah, chicken, buffalo sauce made with real buffaloes. Most importantly, the secret ingredient: bacon infused vodka. We're getting drunk in this bitch. Cream cheese. Jalapenos stuffed with cream cheese. Bacon. Bacon. And more bacon. Now it's time to season the meat. We're going to start off with some onion soup mix. Dump that bad boy on there. We're going to follow it up with some Jack. And finally, some more bacon vodka. Have you ever been drunk on meat? Well, today you're going to be. Finally, you fist pump all the flavor into that meat. Yeah, work it, baby. Work it. After you grease up your pan, you take your well-seasoned meat, and you make a little, place it around, pat it in there pretty nice. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a nice meat bowl for all the special ingredients that you're gonna be putting into this meat football. We got our meat bowl going, and it's time to fill up this delicious meat with all the delicious ingredients that it takes to make a meat football. We're gonna start out, we're gonna put a nice layer of bacon in there. After you get your bacon in there, it's time for the little smokies. After we get the little smokies into the meat bowl, we're gonna layer it up with some buffalo chicken. And this is the buffalo chicken that's been cooking and of course buffalo sauce but also bacon vodka like I said earlier there's no such thing as too much bacon and speaking of bacon it's time for another layer of bacon now after you got this basic layer of meat it's time to have some healthy and when I say healthy food, I'm talking about cream cheese stuffed jalapenos. We're going to get a nice layer of that going. I can already feel my arteries clogging. But it's delicious. And the final filler in our meat football is going to be nachos. I'd like to start off with a basic layer of cheddar cheese and pepper jack. Just make it, just make a little sprinkle. Of course, you can't have nachos without some tortilla chips. Get a nice layer going. And just like the meat football, the secret behind nachos is layering. So we're going to get a basic layer of tortilla chips in here. We're going to add some more cheese. We're going to add some olives. Bacon nachos. You know what, let's crumble it up. Let's make it rain bacon on these nachos. There you go. Got it. Is there such a thing as too much cheese? No. No. Don't be afraid to smash all that down. And we'll put on the rest of our olives. <laughs> and finally, after you get all of your layers into the meat football, you have to top off meat football. So just like you're making hamburgers, make your patties nice and flat, and it's time to just cap it off. 
Once your football is fully covered and all the layers within are covered with meat and goodness, it's time to put it in the oven. Something smells good. Let's see if our meat football's done cooking. After you get the meat football out of the pan, you have to make one more addition. That is, add the strings of the football. And what are we going to use? Bacon, of course. And bacon's usually pretty difficult to get in a straight line, so if you have to break it up, then feel free to do so. But essentially, that's all you do. Just a bacon topper for your meat football. And voila! J. Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 .9 KISW.